Welcome to Texas Farmstead Living. If you have a dairy cow, chances are at some point in time, you will probably deal with mastitis. So in today's video, Mr. Roofer is gonna show you how to perform the California mastitis test on your family milk cow. We have already mixed this earlier. We'll show you a B-roll. You put concentrate up to this first line. You add the rest with cold water and mix it. This is your solution for adding to the cups after you pour milk in. The equipment you'll need is your reagent, your paddle, and a discard bucket. I don't like to pour it on the floor. It's more bacteria on my floor than what I have already. I've got my udder clean now, so I like to to milk one stream of milk out of each other into my discard bucket. I take my paddle. Notice it has two concentric circles in the bottom of each paddle lid. Note the concentric circles in the bottom of your paddles. All right. I want to hold this square with the udder so that I remember which teat I'm pouring milk into each one. I take a, a stream, try not to go too hard. You don't want a lot of foam in the bottom of your cups. You only need a couple of teaspoons. Okay. I have milk in my paddle. I'm gonna gently tip this forward. Notice, notice milk ran out of each paddle down to about the first concentric circle. All right, I'm going to take my reagent and I'm going to add about the same amount of reagent into each cup as what there is milk. I've only got about 10 seconds so I'm gently going to swirl the milk in each pat cup. Notice they're all evenly swirling except this one right here. It forms a little dome in the middle of the cup. But at, when 10 seconds passes, it starts getting, goes away. But I'm going to pour my milk out of the paddle. Watch how it pours out. That first one came out stronger. The rest came out like water. I am going to milk the other three quarters, keep that milk. I'm going to milk the last quarter that was positive into a different bucket and discard. A little hygiene tip. You may want to change your latex gloves when you touch an infected quarter. You don't want it to spread to the other quarters. While Mr. Roofer is milking Belinda, he just performed the California mastitis test. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why it is so important. 
It is an early indicator of mastitis. It measures somatic cell count. And if you will um, perform this test routinely, maybe weekly, if there is any um, mastitis bacteria, you know, forming and multiplying, you will catch it early and that can really um, prevent you from getting to the clinical side of mastitis. And Mr. Rupert and I have been using this test, or he has for, I think since about 2012. And we really never get to that clinical side of mastitis. And we have a lot of dairy cows, and so it must, it must work really, really well. And we wanna really encourage you to implement that test into your milking routine. So now let's talk about some ways, uh, some little signs that I've noticed over the years when maybe we're not using the test every day, but um, I see some little signs that maybe we ought to use it. So first of all, slow straining milk. That is a very, very good indicator. Another sign is salty tasting milk. If so, if you, you, know, you want to use the test, those two things. And thirdly, if you see any kind of milk curds or any clumping in your filter, so you, then you wanna perform the test. Very important. And then one of the things that is always like, is the first indicator to me is I make kefir every 24 hours and my kefir will fail if there is any somatic cell count in the milk. So there's four really good signs to pay attention to daily when you're processing in our video on hand milking our family cow, I made a comment on how healthy milk looked in the picture when it was real foamy and effervescent-y. Uh, that's a sign of good milk. A sign of mastitis possibly in your milk is not foamy, not effervescent-y. It's a real flat looking milk. Now we're going to talk about some reasons that you may have had a positive reaction on your California mastitis test. Of course, we know mastitis causing bacteria present are the reason that it is uh, the somatic cell counts are high and why you would have gotten a reaction. But there's some other variables. So such as estrus in the cow, there's environmental conditions. So if the cow is you know, standing in water in a water tank or the cow's udder is dirty, so those can contribute. Also, sometimes the cow's age. Uh, the older the cow gets, the more likely she is to have some positive results on the CMT test. Also, when the cow calves. In early lactation, the cow is probably for sure going to have a positive reaction to the test and sometimes in late lactation you'll see a positive result. Okay I've got a few tips for you um, when you do get a little bit of a positive reaction some things you can do. Of course if you have a, a strong reaction and just it, maybe even a slight one you should definitely consult with your vet but some little tips some little things that we do is we let the cow and calf stay together. More frequent nursing and the cows uh, the calf running with the cow is probably the best uh, thing we know to have a healthy udder in a cow. So another thing you should do is in the infected quarter, you should do frequent milking um, at least two to three times a day should help. And also to alter the cow's diet in some way. Some little things that I use, some little tips, is I keep a herb garden for the cows. And when we see any kind of, well, actually when they calve and when they're in stress, I give a mastitis mix of herbs. And in the first slight or trace symptom in the California mastitis test, we will give some kind of garlic and maybe some apple cider vinegar. So I hope those little tips will help you. So we will be creating, you know, more videos about how to deal with uh, healthy udders on dairy cows. And I want to show you my herb garden sometime because um, it is really, really helpful that you can just go grab some fresh herbs and feed them to your cow. So please give us a like on this video and I hope you'll subscribe for more on Texas Farmstead Living. And I hope you're enjoying all the videos about dairy cows because uh, we love our dairy cows and we sure hope that our tips will help you. 
from our Texas Hill Country Farmstead to you. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.